We got John in San Francisco. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm doing good. Um, I've been watching your show, and I'm a big fan. And I just want, I'm a theist, by the way. Okay. And I just want to know what makes atheism, the natural, naturalism worldview, more rational than all other worldviews. I mean, what kind of arguments can you present that would uh, defeat all other worldviews? Atheism is not a worldview. Um, what is it then? It's a response to a claim. The claim being that a god exists. But don't doesn't atheists don't they view the universe as non-contingent? They view the world as um, certain way, particular way. They view evolution, science, everything. A nothing. Way. Nothing. There's no requirement for an atheist to believe any of those things. Naturalism is a worldview. Yes, naturalism. Yes, naturalism is. is. Yeah. But that's not the same thing as atheism. Actually, you, you, would, you could argue that in some cases, atheism is the result of naturalism. And in other cases, it's not. For example, you've got uh, Buddhists, or the example we use a lot, um, the, the non-theistic brand of, of Buddhists are atheists. Um, and they have a, a worldview that's entirely uh, not compatible with naturalism. So are you just calling to ask why naturalism is... More rational than... Say monotheism or polytheism or uh, sure. atheism. Sure, the reason naturalism is more rational than any of the theisms is that they make an extra claim in addition to nature, and it's a violation of Occam's razor, the sharp end of Occam's razor. Um, what justification does atheism have that God does not exist? Are you just like reading a list of questions you got from a website? Because oh, no, I'm, I'm just picking these up at the top of my head. Okay. Um, atheism isn't the assertion that gods don't exist. Atheism, um, atheism. I understand. Atheism, by definition, is non-belief in a in a god. Correct. Yes. Denial Correct. Denial of the god. Co Correct. Not not well, necessarily denial. Well, I'll deny that the claims have been de demonstrated. Atheism yeah. is not the assertion that gods don't exist. It is the rejection of the claim that gods do exist as unsupported. So, I, it, it, you're, you're asking, exist, right? what's that? God does not exist. I do not believe that any gods exist. Um, can I tell you, tell you that that's a positive claim to knowledge? And that no, it's not a positive no. claim to knowledge. I just said I do not believe that gods exist. In the same way that I say I do not believe that fairies exist. And I'm not, I'm not required to demonstrate that they actually don't. The default position is that existence must be demonstrated. I am, not assert, I am not asserting to know to any, to, to, to an absolute certainty that no gods exist. If I had asserted that position, and I would have had this conversation gone a different way, that I actively believe there are no gods, but instead I'm saying I do not believe that gods exist. Please demonstrate that they do. God exists is a positive claim to knowledge by theists, and they use um, different arguments to justify that. Yeah. And... Um, why does the atheist have the default when um, God does not exist is as much as a positive claim as because, God that's not what we because said. Because atheists aren't asserting God does not exist. They're not asserting it's... No, okay, you're... if you don't believe somebody's guilty, are you asserting that they're innocent? Uh, innocent so proven guilty, yes. You're not asserting that they're innocent. If you're on a jury, you vote not guilty. You don't vote innocent. You vote not guilty. Atheism is not guilty. Um, Anti-theism would be an assertion of innocence. Wouldn't uh, God exist and God not exist be a guilty or innocent verdict? Yes. And would, would we play an impartial juror? In no, no, you're confusing the actual state of, of affairs with respect uh, with someone's actual belief about those affairs. In fact, either some God exists or no gods exist. Those are the only two possibilities. But what you believe about those is different. In actuality, either the defendant is guilty or the defendant is innocent. But that is not that is that is the, the state of God exists, God doesn't exist, the defendant is guilty, the defendant is innocent. But what you believe about those is different. And if 
until somebody demonstrates that the defendant is guilty, you are not justified in believing the defendant is guilty. You are in the position of rejecting this claim and voting not guilty, but that does not mean that you are convinced that the, that the defendant is innocent. Likewise... What if, what if the evidence comes back that the uh, defendant is guilty? Well, in that case, then Where's, you say that you're a theist, so yeah. what evidence do you have that your beliefs are correct? I have uh, the different arguments that are presented by philosophers. Those, are, those aren't evidence. Those, those aren't arguments. evidence. Those aren't evidence. Can you define evidence? It's... <laughs> wow. It's something that demonstrates that your claim is true. It's data. It's... But, it's, but in any case, every one of those... Hey, hang on. Argument. John, That's an John, argument. John, John. Stop. There arguments and evidence. Evidence supports arguments. Evidence becomes the premises of arguments that lead to conclusion. You're saying that you believe because of the classical philosophical arguments for the existence of God. None of those are logically valid and sound. Please present one that is. Um, the Kalam cosmological argument? The Kalam cosmological argument. Yes. You, you think that it's valid and sound and sufficient to demonstrate the existence of a God? I uh, went through every premise, and there, so far there has not been a defeater for each premise. Um, I've been uh, actually looking it up. I'm no, 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 no. You, you don't look for a de necessarily, you don't have to have a defeater for each premise. You have to have a confirmer for each premise. The fact that somebody hasn't demonstrated a premise to be false, and by the way, with regard to Kalam, I don't necessarily buy that, but the fact that we have not demonstrated a premise to be false does not mean the premise is true. In the same way that the fact that we haven't demonstrated a, a, a defendant to be guilty doesn't mean that he's innocent. You, you How are, do you find truth? Um, I define it uh, as uh, logical. Logic and truth are inseparable. I don't think you know what either of those words mean. Yeah. I'm it, you well, you well do not you you've demonstrated um, you've demonstrated John something's illogical that is not John true. you've demonstrated from the beginning of this that you don't know what atheism means you don't know what the position asserts you don't understand where the default position should be you do not understand what a true dichotomy is and you don't know how to validate a logical argument because you said you went through the premises and couldn't find anything that defeats them that in and of itself is an argument from ignorance it is a fallacy. What you do Actually is you have, to ver I, you have to verify the premises, not claim that they're true because they haven't been disproven. That's an argument from ignorance. And if you don't understand that, you've got no business making claims that you believe something based on these arguments. 